Okay, I'm just gonna show you real quick how I make the ribs, but without having this plugged in. Um, so I'm, what you need to do first is when you buy your ribs, cut all your ribs individually, so that's just one bone, you know? And then you kind of line them up side by side in here, or if you didn't get a lot of them, just kind of line them on the bottom. Um, you're going to add two cups of water, and um, you're gonna add one third cup of Adkins um, Western style barbecue seasoning. And um, you're gonna stir all that liquid up. You're gonna like make sure it's all stirred up and mixed in. And then you're gonna put your lid on. Now the way that you know to put it on is this little button needs to kind of be, there's like a tab right here. And so this needs to kind of be aligned on there. Okay, so now it's on, and then you twist it to lock it into place. Now it's in a position where it can build uh, pressure because it's locked. Um, once you lock it into place, it might make a beep, but the screen will turn on. You want to find your button for chicken and meat. You press it once, and it'll light up the yellow light. You don't want that one. You want to do it again so that it lights up the green. And that would put it at like the time at 40 or 45 minutes. Now you can do, I just did the 40 minutes, but you can do, you can add, you can hit this time adjustment to add more minutes to it if you want to, but you don't need to. Anyway, and that'll be done. And so you just leave it alone and it'll make this kind of cycling look, like it's building pressure. And then it's only once the pressure is actually built built up that it'll start the time the countdown now before it starts you want to make sure that these are lined up so um, make sure that that's lined up and then when the timer goes off you're going to use a tool to release the pressure make sure they're again lined up you're gonna release the pressure but you don't want to do it with your fingers because um, you'll all the steam goes everywhere and it'll burn your burn your skin so um, as, and then that's good. And then when all, when all the pressure is released, well, or before you can, uh, you want to hit the, um, cancel button. So you, it can either do keep warm or cancel. You're going to hit it until it basically turns off. So it's canceled. And, um, after that, all you have to do is put the ribs on the grill or something like that, you know, to give them that, you know, smoked so that they don't, cause they look pretty hideous right when they come out of the the pressure cooker and so you just put them on the grill make them look nice you can sprinkle more seasoning on them if you want more flavor but other than that they'll be falling off the bone and everybody will like them so I hope you enjoy